In the second part of the documentary, we visit another artist, Amar Stewart, who filmed his show Eden Garden at East Gallery, Brick Lane. When I was at school, um, I studied art, you know, um, they would sort of almost, I felt like they would almost dictate to you which is what you should do in art, you know, replicate another artist's style, you know, um, and, and see what you can learn from that, you know, which I kind of disagreed with because I didn't feel that that was being creative, you know, um, so I kind of like went off after school and tried to find my own style um, and just experimenting really, and that's probably when I was like 15, 16. Um, yeah, that was when I, when I was based in the Midlands. I didn't really associate myself with many people, purely because there weren't that many creative people in the small town that I was I was in. Um, so uh, I moved to sort of London and um, just kind of got in with the right crowd, I guess, and then um, fed off their creativity and got to where I am now. I know it definitely has definitely been a um, you know a social element to it. I mean the way that. I kind of, um, with, my, with my current work, you know, I definitely have to socialise with people and, you know, they, you kind of explain what you do on the side as, you know, whether it be a hobby um, or, you know, ways to sort of, you know, hustle to make some extra money. And, um, you know, ever since I was younger, I've always liked to work with people and try new things, but there's always been the problem of finding the right person to, to work with to come out with a really good end result. Um, and like you said, more recently I have found that person to, to sort of really adapt my style and differ from my individual works that I've been doing. Yeah, I mean, probably you see from my from my works, they are quite dark, they're quite moody, and um, most of it comes from Asian film. Um, a lot of the sort of um, extreme sort of horror films that are out there, um, real dark music. Um, I'm not really not a dark person in general, but there's a side of me that I guess um, that pops out when I paint because you know I'm, I'm quite sort of reserved or you know, quite like happy going as it goes but when it comes to artwork I definitely like to sort of go a little bit a little bit crazy with it so, so yeah probably I'm to answer your question Asian film uh, black metal music and um, and women Without a doubt, like again, when I was a kid, when I was younger, I um, used to skate a lot. Um, messed up my ankle, so I don't really do it as much now because I have other commitments too. But yeah, I think there's a definite. Um, I mean, in fact, that's another sort of um, reason I got into art is when I used to work in a skate shop when I was younger. Obviously, you'd get all the skateboards in and you'd check out the graphics there. And there's been some really sort of successful artists, um, gallery artists, and street street artists who have done design work for you know, big corporate skate brands or you know, even the little indie brands out there. So um, yeah, yeah it's, a good, it's a good look, definitely an affiliation there that inspires people to paint. I think there's so many forms of, uh, so many forms of creativity out there that, that drives people to, to, to the art world, um, you know, I don't know anybody who paints without listening to music. Um, I'm yet to find someone who does anyway. And um, I think that music really sort of brings out the style of artwork. Like if I was to paint the stuff that you guys have seen today, you know, like throughout the whole time I've listened to nothing but like metal music. But then like last year I did a show with Nike, with Nike ID, and um, it, it was based on uh, Asian culture and I had to sort of really step outside of my comfort zone and use a lot of bright colours and to do that throughout the six months of painting all I listened to was like hip-hop and breaks and um, you know I can kind of really sort of work a lot smoother with that kind of uh, relaxing sort of melody and, and all that kind of stuff so. Um, I think patience is definitely something um, this day and age, there's so many people painting, um, and you know some people call it crap. You know some people say it's not art, whether it be stencil or whether it just be sort of illustration work. 
Um, I don't really think that there should be a way to get into it. Um, it seems that you need to be accepted in, in certain genres of art that there is, you know, the street art thing. Um, I don't know if I'm really a part of that. I like to say that I'm creating my own niche. But um, all I suge suggest to anybody who wants to get into the art game is just to put a bit of time into it, or a lot of time into it, and dedication, and have a lot of focus. You know, if you ever want to succeed in the art world, you really got to put that time in. You know, those Friday and Saturday nights that I used to go out a lot and party and everything else. Um, I still do that a little bit, but I got to prioritise. I want to take it seriously, so. It's great what people are doing, you know, they're, they're sort of making the streets their own, you know, um, it's, it's definitely a risky business, um, I don't do it as much really, um, you know, I have a few friends who, who have been caught for doing it and I think what they get, like, you know, whether they get jail time or anything is a bit extreme, you know, there's so much other bad shit going on out there in the world and graffiti really shouldn't be one of them, um, but what I do say is if you do it, you know, just, uh, be prepared to pay the consequences because, you know, especially here in London, you know, it's like Big Brother, you're being watched every minute of the day, so, um, you know, but at the same time, fair play, keep doing it. You know, it makes the place look a little bit colourful, more colourful than it is. Well, this piece here was actually done with uh, myself and Mr. Butler. Uh, he's not here at the moment, but uh, he's an original sort of grapher, um, far from what I am. Um, you can see he's kind of done, he's done all the sort of hair work here and stuck with the clean lines. Um, and then I've got to come in here to really to, yeah, do the photo realism like you said. Um, that's something that I'm really trying to work on to, to, to kind of set, that's something that I'm trying to set myself aside, you know, from the sort of traditional like graffiti like you said. Um, create my own niche and uh, working with, with Mr. Butler is great because he can really bring that piece to life. Thunderous above the myth, dash a red finance, I love a god shit. Break it like clover, feel protected. I hold the shield, niggas know the deal. Fuck your life, this is overkill. See me mucking hard, then I chill. Observe the stars, got a problem with that. My voodoo spells burning scars, and you know it, fam. Deadly like the oldest slime, or devious chicks with the cobra fang. I'm getting blazed with my nigga Sunny Jim, it's a funny thing. Can you hear the bone bubbling? Damn, he's going nuts again. Burning paint from a metal pipe up on the roof, moonwalking like Mike. Gonna seize the moment. Gonna do it today, gonna make mad noise like the dude on Lewis and Wayne. I keep a bouncer like Spalding. What them seeds be falling like leaves in autumn. I'm Raps Razor Ramon, I'm always breaking the mold. Why now they should have had me on Westwood's radio show. Cause I'm in